Fine, aka Claudep, just keeps on getting better and better. Just 4 days ago, Klein came out with a big upgrade to its framework with the integration of the newer upgraded Claude 3.5 Sonnet model, which is the best coding based model that's out there. It's currently ranked number 1 on Human Evil and Sway Bench being capable of tackling complex coding based tasks. I was even capable of creating a Spotify clone with a single prompt that played music, added a nice UI, a volume bar, and much more. And just today, the main developer behind Klein, Saud, came out with another big upgrade to the framework with the integration of Anthropic's new computer use API that lets you launch your browser with Klein's autonomous AI agent to click, browse, type, scroll and essentially give more autonomy in real time where you can debug and you also have the ability to have end-to-end -end testing and even general web use with these different ai agents that are deployed from klein now i'm generally pretty close with the developer of klein zaud and he basically was chatting with me on future releases of klein they have a lot of cool things coming out and i can tell you that something cool that they're focusing on is mostly bug fixes at the current moment and getting token usage down but their next big feature is going to probably have the ability to interface with mobile emulators which is going to give mobile developers the functionality to basically code within vs code with integration of client and that's something that's a bit down the road but it's something that will definitely elevate Klein even more. For the people who do not know what Klein is, it's an AI assistant that is powered by various large language models and it's capable of handling complex development tasks step by step in your CLI and editor with tools for file editing, command execution, web interaction all within a safe human in the loop GUI that allows for real-time oversight and approval. I've made multiple videos on this beautiful framework where I was capable of creating full stack applications with it and I'll leave links to those videos in the description below. Now sorry to put this in but I have a really big update coming to my second channel so I definitely recommend that you go ahead and subscribe to it right now. Now, the primary limitation that's holding client back, in my opinion, is its rate limits, which can significantly impact workflow fluidity by slowing down response times and basically constraining continuous usage. Now, these rate limits can feel like a bottleneck, particularly during the more complex stage of your app development. And this is why you can use other models, but they don't end up getting the same sort of results as the Sonnet 3.5. But this is something that will be resolved soon, and it's something that I'll definitely keep you updated on. So now that we have a general idea of what this update is truly about, let's take a look at how you can get started with it. For the people who do not have client, you can easily get started with it by installing the extension through VS Code. If you do not have VS Code, I'll leave a link to this in the description below, as well as all the other links that I use in today's video. Make sure you install VS Code, and you can simply install the client extension by going over to the marketplace on Windows, and you can simply click on install, which will prompt open VS Code. So this will open up Visual Studio Code, and this will prompt open the marketplace where you can simply install this. Now, if you do not have the update, just click on update, and you will start to install the new update. So now that we have the new update installed, which is the version 2.1.1 update, you can simply go over to client. And what I want you guys to do first is click on this settings tab over here and provide an Anthropic API key so that you can utilize the computer use API. Now, something cool that I want to mention is that there is this guy named by Abdullah and he basically messaged me on my email which I definitely recommend that you do so. I'll definitely respond to you. And he essentially told me to add this custom prompt to analyze code, identify issues, as well as generating step-by-step -step instructions for fixing them. And this was something that could be passed as a in custom instruction to uh, Klein, and it will definitely elevate the way you're able to generate. I can definitely leave this in the description below so that you can potentially even add this to your extension. And I was able to get really great results with it. So let's now take a look at the computer use API built within Klein. I'm going to look up the weather in Colorado to see if this is functional. 
So we can see that it's going to first start off by navigating to our browser. So let's approve this. And we can see all the actions being made with the console log on the left hand panel. So we can see right away that it is now searching through weather.gov and it's starting to look on browsing through the different features and cities. So we can see that it's now going to search within this category. And there you go we now have the weather in colorado which is forecasting for the next seven days so let's now start a new task this is where i'm going to request it to web scrape a google reviews page for a random plumbing company and i'm going to tell it to collect the contents from it and basically make a new file on my desktop as a json file with those new content so it's going on google reviews to find a random plumbing company and we can see that it's going to extract reviews from a business account so now it's going to find the best plumbing companies in Toronto and it's going to get the reviews for it. So let it search for it. And once it finishes doing this, we can then move forward. So it looks like it has found a couple of plumbing companies in Toronto and it's going to now find one random one that has a lot of reviews. And we're going to see if it's going to be able to scrape those reviews now. So now it's telling me that it has enough information to basically create a JSON file with the company details and review statistics. So it's going to now create the action of closing the browser and it's going to now formulate a JSON file with the contents in it. So within a couple seconds, we should have this completed. So now it is focusing on creating the file containing the plumbing company's information, including their name, rating, number of reviews, contact information, and common review topics so we can see that this has been now formulated on my desktop and this is something that i was capable of doing with the computer use api in like i would say incorporated within client and i was capable of doing this with only about 12 cents this is the capability of this beautiful integration within Klein. Something cool to note is that once the Haiku 3.5 model is released, they're going to be able to incorporate it within Client, which is going to offer fast, cheap, and computer use. And it's going to hopefully also have fast edit mode, which is where it's going to take Client to the next level, where there is no need to worry about costs and no need for a code instruction. But that's basically it for today's video on this new update. I definitely recommend that you take a look at it because it's definitely going to elevate the way you use Klein and the computer use API to assist you in various ways. With this new enhanced update, you're going to be able to use computer use within your VS Code extension that can assist you with various tasks where you can have it so that AI agents can be deployed on the cloud to automate various components of your tasks. And in this case, now you have it so that client can automate terminal based commands and even execute web based tasks, which is something that will greatly elevate your workflows. I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Huge props to the developer Saud for developing this beautiful new update. I'll leave his profile as well in the description so that you can give him a follow. Huge props to him for making this crazy uh, framework even better. Now, Take a look at the Patreon page if you have some time so that you can access our private Discord as well as gaining access to different subscriptions that we provide on a monthly basis for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, make sure you take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really, really soon. Peace out, fellas.